After uh, spending a considerable amount of time cleaning the belly of my airplane and listening to uh, my friends complain about oil on the bottom of theirs, I decided that maybe it was time that we took some of what we've learned over the years building oil separators for high performance vehicles and, and cars and try to apply it towards the airplane. So we took some of that knowledge and uh, put it into a package that's pretty much identical in physical size to what everyone else has built for a oil separator. That way we don't wander too far off from uh, the norm. So this is the separator. And, you know, over the years, we've, we've learned a considerable amount. We've literally built uh, thousands of cars and race cars, off-road race cars. Uh, we still do that today. Uh, we've built uh, probably 2,500 engines that are 800 to 1,200 horsepower on average, and some as high as 2,500 horsepower. So, you know, in the course of doing that, we've learned quite a bit that we can apply towards this problem of separating the oil out of the breather. Now, typically these 1,200 horsepower engines uh, make quite a bit more blow-by than your typical little 0320 or, or 360. So separators do an extremely good job. We also are building a larger one that uh, can go on the IO 540s as well. Now, in the process here, after we did some experimenting and, and tried to make this as light as possible, uh, we had to create some tooling, obviously, to facilitate assembly and in, in, in making the parts for aircraft use. And we've come up with a unit that that's, uh, works extremely well, that's very light, and should do the job better than pretty much anything on the market. We, uh, like we've done with other products, we went and bought other people's and took them apart. And some of them are just a can, and some of them they've made an attempt at separating oil, but nothing to the extent that we have. And these things are very expensive. Uh, people sell them for, well, goodness, I've seen them for, from $400 to $800. And they're all over the map, and there's nothing inside any of them that justifies that kind of a price. So, like our other products, we're going to try to make these things very affordable. Now, this shows all of the pieces that are in the unit, and it took some time, quite a bit of dyno time, varying some of these components around to come up with a system that, that really works extremely well. Now, we actually spent a lot of time in the dyno cell, and once we decided on the design, the way we were going to do it, and what worked best, we actually put this on an engine that had a tremendous amount of blow-by that was just literally gushing oil out of the breather continuously. And this unit separated all of that oil out. So we started assembling pieces and, and, and building these very, very light separators for experimental aircraft. Now, in the process of, of doing all of this, uh, we've come up with a very, very nice unit. This is one that's completed, and, and the way they look when we're done with them, they're polished to a mirror finish. Or we're also going to offer them uh, powder coated. So there's a little few options there. And like I said, they're in two different sizes. Now, along the way, I put one on my airplane with quite a lot of uh, extensive instrumentation that we can measure flow on all of the hoses and and uh, record exactly what's going on. We can measure the the pulses from the crankcase and and we've tailored this unit to work ideally on the engines that are in the 200 to 400 cubic inch range that are running at 
between 2500 and 3000 RPM. Now, we've also made a larger unit that uh, for the IO 540s and, um, and tested it on that as well. Now, on my airplane here, with this unit, we've got a couple of hundred hours with all of the data to support uh, how it works. And it's a very compact unit. It weighs next to nothing probably weighs less than the oil that normally would have been spit out on the belly every 20 or 30 hours. Now this one looks slightly different and it's primarily because we wanted to put instrumentation on for our testing. But internally, uh, this unit is identical to, to the ones that uh, we've just dis displayed pictures of. Now this is an installation on a uh, IO 540 um, and we've got a hundred or so hours on this one as well and with instrumentation and logged all of the flow numbers and and made sure that it wasn't kicking any oil out. This particular airplane uh, used to use a quart of oil about every five hours. Now the engine checks perfect so it was pretty obvious from the get-go that this thing was kicking the oil out the breather. So once we put this unit on, uh, it goes now at about 30 hours before we even noticed it to go down at all. And that was maybe a cup that it went down. So really cleaned it up on this thing. Keeps the belly just immaculately clean and shiny. Now the unit for the IO540 is slightly larger and in including the tubing sizes because the IO540 can potentially pump slightly more blow by by as much as 50%. Very compact unit on the 540 also. It's, uh, it's only about a quarter of an inch larger in diameter than the one that's uh, for the 0360 or 0320. Now, these things weigh just over seven ounces. And now this is also with the plugs installed in that little fitting on the bottom. So when that comes off, it puts it right at seven ounces. Now this is the completed unit with the bracket that mounts to the firewall and the, and the clamp that, that holds it in. So that's pretty much our unit. Now down the line, we're going to offer a vacuum system also that works in conjunction with this that uh, offers a substantial increase in performance. So keep an eye out for that on our website because that will probably be the next item that goes up after this oil separator. Thank you for listening.